Robbie, how are you? It's good to see you. All good? You too, Corky. All good, yep. Yeah, for play. Robbie, can I ask ask you that, you know, having had a chance to look back at the match last week and now get together in camp, is there a sense that this is a match that you left behind that you could have actually won? Yeah, absolutely. Um, obviously, a disappointing uh, result for us, and um, you know we've all looked looked back through it um, a good few times now, um, both together and and individually. And um, you know we had a good meeting after after on on Monday, and um, you know or oh, sorry uh, yesterday, and um, it was um, you know it was tough to watch because we definitely felt we had uh, we had them, um, and we just probably. Most frustrating thing probably was was not um, just executing and uh, and taking those opportunities, but um, again to spin it on a positive is probably just another step in the journey and ha how we learn from it and how we kick on um, and we turn it into a positive. Can you describe what it was like on the pitch? Because you know, as somebody who's either you know if people watching on, uh, listening on the radio, or being at the stadium looking and kind of wondering about decision making. I mean, the atmosphere was absolutely incredible in the stadium. It must have been really hard to even kind of think or even try and make a split-second decision. Yeah, it was. It was uh, electric. Is probably the word I'd describe it. Um, even from the the warm-up, from when we went out to to warm up, it was um, the stadium was bouncing. And um, for us again, um, we knew that was going to happen. We we prepared well all week and um and kind of like that cauldron cauldron effect when you go into into the heat of battle and it's it's just like um it it can make ma uh, affect your one your decision making and two uh, your communication uh, can be affected cuz you can't hear as much when you're playing um as opposed to you know um last last couple of years where you're playing in empty stadiums it's 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 a lot easier to communicate and and to chat and hear but um again um we feel that didn't really have an effect on us um, as such. I think you know we we definitely had our opportunities there to to go ahead and 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 to win the game. So I don't think that that um, that had an effect. Is it important now that you draw a line in the sand and rather than think of what might have been, think of what can be when you play Italy next week? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think you know we can we can definitely draw a line in the sand and. Um, and just just take a step forward and take take all the learning from from that game, um, because a few a couple of weeks after Italy we travel to Twickenham and it's another real really intense environment and some guys mightn't have played there before in, in a full stadium. It's 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 up there with with Stade de France. So um, yeah, it's uh, definitely we we we'll learn from it and um, you know we'll we'll roll into roll our sleeves up for for Italy next week. Who we we always know are, are a really physical uh, challenge, and um, you know um, they'll, they'll definitely test us uh, physically. Good man, thanks very much, Robbie. Cheers. Hi, Robbie. How's it going? Hey, things. Um, how are you doing? I suppose it's been a frustrating season in terms of injuries and not playing a, a huge amount of rugby. I mean, where do you feel you are now, kind of in terms of match sharpness and getting back on track? Yeah, it's been, been a been a bit of a, a rocky one for me this year. Um, feel fresh, to be honest. Um, so I'm ready to go. Um, yeah, so I've been training away the last couple of weeks, and um, yeah, so ready to kind of to st step forward now. Um, obviously, the stop start um, kind of season for me uh, hasn't hasn't been ideal, but um hoping for a stronger finish a uh, stronger finish to the second half of the season um so yeah body feels good uh mentally feel good feel sharp so yeah it's uh, exciting what is the mental challenge like of coming into a six nations without the usual match sharpness and being out of the team for the opening fixtures you're sitting there kind of watching gary and bundy going well is it, is it difficult to not you know start putting too much pressure on yourself or trying to force things when you do get your opportunity because i presume you know you don't just imagine you're gonna walk straight back into the team yeah it's it's, it's about waiting for your opportunity first and foremost um yeah the lads are going really well fair play to them um it's been a good start um and you know they've been building um but for me it's just stick to my process uh, what's worked for me um have big confidence in that and um you know don't try and force things um just do the right thing 
uh, in training and uh, stay positive. That's that's all I can worry about is, is me and um, making sure I do the right thing. Just, just finally for me, um, I remember last year you were speaking a lot about kind of working on your footwork and things like that. Has the time out injured this year allowed you to focus on anything different or work on a different area of the game or you know take any little positives like, like that out of an unfortunate situation? Um, yeah, just just always looking at uh, developing your your core skill set, uh, both in attack and defence. Uh, you just uh, your vision as well. Vision training is a lot it is big in the game, so I've been working on a lot of that as well. So, yeah, a lot of areas to, to just keep keep brushing up on. Great, thanks, Robbie. Cheers. How are things, Robbie? Joe here. Hi. Yeah. I, I read there in our school that uh, yourself and Hugo and Gary went for a dip and then you did, did a, a video review of the match on Monday. Was there anything in particular you were looking to glean from that? Um, probably just to sit down as opposed to going through it yourself. Um, it's always good to sit down with a couple of lads and get different opinions. Um, you know, asking what do you think in here? What, what do you think we could have done? Uh, did we do this well, or you know, could we do better? So I think that was the main, the main aspect of that. Uh, of that, you know, we we always always like to hear uh, everyone's opinion, and I think it's probably more powerful in a smaller group when you watch it together, and um, you know, you can open the floor and you can get feedback. Um, yeah, so that that was the the main reason, um, and it was it was it was a good uh, it was a good way to go through it. to be starting on the bench last week and because you're usually starting when you're fit it's not the usual position for you did you have any specific chats with Andy Farrell last week about preparing yourself mentally for that or what he might want from you in terms of an impact coming off the bench against France yeah no I, I, we, we spoke uh, briefly and it was just to make sure it was ready to go um, you know add value whatever way you can um, you know, don't try and stand out and, and do it all yourself. Kind of, um, it was just more to make sure you you bring energy once you come into that game, uh, into the game towards the the end of it, and and make sure you you really kind of show that you lift it with, with energy. And same for same for all the subs, they're basically the the energizers when they come on, and um, that's a huge huge role for everyone coming off the bench. So, has been my first time. Um, in here uh, to come off the bench, so yeah, it was it was um, I've I've done it before. And just finally for me, the for me, the partnership in the centre is obviously a very particular one, and, and that understanding is really important. Now, obviously, you have that with Bundy and Gary because you have huge experience playing with them. So I said the understanding and the telepathy is there, but how important is it to get match practice with guys at tenth level so that you know you're. The, oil, the, the wheels are oiled when it comes to the intensity of playing the likes of France in Paris. Yeah, it's hugely important. Um, you know, you can't really replicate uh, test match minutes in training. So I suppose, and th that's probably the challenge coming into camp as well. You're, you're coming straight from your province uh, and you have a week to prepare and, and, get, and then you're into the game. So um, it's probably just everyone has to be ready uh, at the drop of a hat. And... Uh, that's that's the huge challenge, but again, um, we prepare as well as we can, and um, you know we train as hard as we can, and to try and replicate those scenarios that we'll face on the weekend. So we've been doing that the last three weeks, and um, it's definitely paid off. You know, in in certain aspects of the game. Cheers, Robbie. Cheers. Take the last couple there, lads. Hi, Robbie. How are you? Hi. Just wondering, in your downtime, I, I did you watch the match on your downtime, and what else did you get up to to try and switch off from um, from the rugby before you came into the camp? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, we watched it a couple of times, um, both like individually and and with a with a small group of lads. Um, yeah, it was it was good to to do both. Um, so yeah, it was obviously you want to turn the page and you want to move on quickly, um, but you know you have to take those few days to reflect and look back I suppose of, of throughout the week how you know could we have done individually could we have done things different or uh, in preparation for the game and you always kind of ask those d different questions um, 
but yeah, yeah, it was it was tough view and obviously um the few days after. And um, we were just talking to Andy there about diversity in the dressing room and it's just a topic of conversation at the moment because of France about where all, all their players come from. From your experience with the Lions, how much did you get from mixing with people who are coming from totally different backgrounds? And I suppose it's in comparison to the Irish dressing room, which in general feeds through a schools, academy, province system. And how much of a virtue is it to, to maybe make the most of having lads from different backgrounds? Yeah, I think it brings... Um you know, good conversations and good relationships off the back of that kind of diversity. And, you know, um, you get to know people on a, a, on deeper levels. Um, and I think it is, it, it was um, a standout uh, point from, from the South Africa tour was being able to chat to people, you know, who you don't know that well and, and who are from different places. Um, and that made it more exciting as well. But yeah, we're always trying to grow our squad here and, and and get to know each other, you know, not just on the surface level, but you know, like deeper level, and um, to open those honest conversations and and to be, I suppose, honest with each other.